Welcome to the Science of Fast Weight Loss for Beginners. In this quick training, we're going to teach you the science of fast weight loss and an easy 10-step formula you can remember and implement immediately. It's important to understand this is not just about weight loss. If you follow this advice, you can expect a few things. You will lose excess weight quickly and consistently. Your skin will begin to look younger and healthy looking from eating better foods. You'll be sharper, smarter, and more effective in your job or school because of fewer energy spikes and drops. You'll have plenty of energy for your entire day and you won't need that second cup of coffee. You'll start to get compliments from friends and family members after a month's time. Your sugar cravings will eventually go away and you'll no longer fight for control over what you eat and you'll become a new person both physically and mentally. In short, this advice can help you make big changes in your life if you lit it. After this video is over, make sure to check your inbox for a message from the health nerd. Inside will be a downloadable version of the content you see here to easily remember and access later on. Grab a pen and paper to take notes and let's begin. The 10 steps to losing weight fast backed by science. Number one, relax on exercise in the beginning. This may go against everything you've heard about losing weight your entire life, but it's the truth. Weight loss is not about exercise. In fact, a recent study done by Current Biology took 322 adults from five different countries through a calorie reduction weight loss program. They split the groups between those that did exercise and those that did not. Shockingly enough, adding an exercise did not play any major role over calories burned or weight lost. And for those that saw changes, they were minor at best. This is likely due to the fact that when people start exercising, they eat more naturally to compensate. Exercise is tremendously important for your overall health, but when implementing to a weight loss protocol, one has to be careful. Once you have established healthy eating habits and gotten consistency over your diet from more than seven days, then you should add in exercise. Health is always 80% diet, 20% exercise. Don't forget it. Number two, do not obsess over calories. While being in a calorie deficit is what causes us to lose weight, calorie counting is not the right solution for most people. Food is more than just calories. It's about what those calories do for you. Does this food make you hungrier or feel more satisfied after eating? Does this food give you an energy crash or give you sustained energy? Does this food provide you with the vitamins, minerals, and nutrients your body needs are just empty calories with no added value. The problem that is created by obsessing over calories is it puts dieters into the wrong mindset about losing weight. They usually start eating crappy foods and justify that they have excess calories to fill. Another problem? Most people are notoriously bad at calorie counting. So bad in fact that a recent study showed that people underestimate their daily food intake by up to 47% and overestimate their calories burned from workouts by 30%. I strongly recommend not counting calories when you initially start dieting. Your body was designed to burn fat when you're eating the right things and will naturally shed the excess weight. Number three, do not do the small changes approach. The largest meta-analysis on weight loss success performed by the University of Alabama showed us that people who lose the most weight the first two to four weeks end up with the best results in the long term. Therefore, losing weight fast will better impact you in both the short and long term. The most effective thing you can do is actually a fast weight loss approach. This study shows us if you're going to lose weight, go all in. If you half-ass it and promise to add in the occasional salad to your diet, you're pretty much doomed to fail. Your results will come in too slowly and discourage you from moving forward. Both the science and common sense shows us this. Number four, heal your digestive tract. Did you know that when comparing gut bacteria, scientists found that overweight people have completely different gut bacteria than those who are in shape? One of the more interesting studies was from two groups of women stuck into separate weight loss groups for a three-month study. They found that women taking probiotics lost 50% more weight compared to the group taking a dummy pill or a placebo. They also continued to lose weight during the weight maintenance phase of the study. The point is, your gut health matters and taking care of it with healthy probiotics can really work wonders. This study also shows us the importance of healing our gut. We do this by eating the right foods, taking a probiotic, and by eliminating highly processed foods from our diet. Number five, combine high quality lean proteins and low carb vegetables. Mixing high quality lean protein with low carb vegetables in your meals is one of the big secrets to effortless weight loss. Protein is one of the most satiating nutrients and when it's combined with low carb veggies, here's what happens to the body. Protein is stimulating the metabolism. Protein is helping preserve lean muscle tissue that burns calories. While low carb vegetables are providing fiber for satiety, vitamins the body desperately needs, and minerals. Plus meals high in protein and low carb vegetables are naturally naturally low in calories. Combining them into meals is the real key to effortless weight loss. Chicken salads with olive oil dressing, spinach omelets cooked in coconut oil, 
and a vegetable beef stew are three great examples of this. Number six, do a carbohydrate detox in the beginning of a diet. A diet in this case simply means to abstain from food for a period of time. Refined carbohydrates are usually one of the main culprits behind excess weight gain and bloating. Too many of them will throw off your hormones. Eating refined carbs are just too many carbs in general causes an insulin spike and your leptin to come down. In other words, your body is sent into fat storing mode and loses the ability to know when you've eaten too much. This is why we recommend doing a carbohydrate detox for a brief period of time if you have more than 10 pounds of excess weight on the body. This allows your hormones to reset, your insulin to become more sensitive, and your body to shed any excess water weight being carried. Remember, this is a detox and not a permanent thing. The right carbohydrates at normal amounts are great for the body and should not be cut out forever. Number seven, do a daily walk. Instead of the strenuous exercise, starting with a simple daily walk when losing weight is perfect. Why? Because a walk is an easy, healthy habit to establish. It also is good for the brain, instilling a sense of meditation, which has been proven to help with craving control. It helps with posture, correcting the problems we have from hunching over our computers. It burns mostly body fat. It reduces stress and has been shown to lower cortisol levels. And it can help you live longer because a massive walking study of 7,000 men and 31,000 female recreation walkers showed that those who walked the most had the lowest mortality rates. Do not underestimate the power of a short walk. Number eight, eat plenty of healthy fat. Want to know a secret? Losing weight is about mastering your hormones and fat plays a crucial component in optimizing them. Hormones like cortisol, testosterone, and leptin suffer greatly when the body is not getting enough fat. There's also evidence showing that saturated fat is fine for you as well. In a recent meta-analysis of 21 studies with over 300,000 participants, they found absolutely zero evidence or association between saturated fat and heart disease. In reality, fat and the occasional source of saturated fat in your daily diet is perfectly healthy and plays an important role when losing weight. Fats like coconut oil, extra virgin olive oil, and omega-3s are best. Number nine, break your sugar addiction. Recent research has actually shown us that sugar is even more highly addictive than cocaine when lighting up the same pleasure receptors in our brain. The problem is that sugar consumption also causes hormonal disruption, weight gain, fatigue, is associated with every major disease, causes cravings, and is probably the single worst thing you can be eating when trying to lose weight. In order to experience fast weight loss success, you need to kill this addiction. And the best way to handle any addiction is to spend a period of time avoiding it completely. This is not to say you can never have sugar again, just that while you're losing weight, your results are going to greatly depend on getting it out of your diet. We recommend 21 days away from sugar at least for cutting it out. It's difficult, but you will notice around this time most of the cravings will be gone and healthy eating will be much easier. Number 10, exercise three times a week after detoxing. While you want to establish healthy food habits, exercise is still beneficial to the body. Particularly, once you have finished the detoxing process, you will have some natural energy again and you will want to exercise three times a week. This has helped to prevent the downregulation of metabolism where one's metabolism slows due to eating less. This downregulation happens a few weeks into any diet, but it's important we be prepared for it. The best kind of exercise to do is circuit training with weights, also known as metabolic resistance training. It gets you the best calorie burn while improving lean muscle tissue. If you follow these steps, you will not only lose weight but begin to optimize your health. Let's do a brief summary and then I've got something awesome for you to check out if you're still interested in losing weight quickly, safely, and effectively. Number one, relax on exercise in the beginning. Number two, do not obsess over calories. Number three, do not do the small changes approach. Number four, heal your digestive tract. Number five, combine high quality lean proteins with low carb vegetables. Number six, do a carbohydrate detox at the beginning of a diet. Number seven, do a daily walk. Number eight, eat plenty of healthy fat. Number nine, break your sugar addiction. Number 10, exercise three times a week after detoxing. Now, there will be some of you thinking, okay, this is great. Now, how in the world do I implement all of these points? How much do I need to eat? When do I need to eat it? How do I make these meals? And is there a step-by-step -step solution to do this? Make no mistake, if you implement all the points in this video, you will lose weight quickly and effectively. But there are some of you who will want and need a program to follow. And if that's really what you want, below this video, I'm going to link the fast weight loss video 
video course I created to help people get real weight loss results without all the hype, without all the BS, just the science of fast weight loss and a step-by-step easy to follow program that anyone can do. This course is centered around some of the latest scientific research and evidence and it's awesome. It's the lessons that both my clients, my family, the health nerd, the research I've done and I use to get success. It'll help you lose weight naturally without counting calories, show you exactly what to eat, how much to eat it, and when to eat it for fast results, and help you implement all 10 steps right away. With the program, you will lose 5 to 10 pounds in just your first 21 days, start to feel lighter on your feet, trim 3 to 4 inches off your waistline, skyrocket your natural energy levels, feel better and more confident in your body, and begin to feel happy again about the way you look. If you want to learn more, just click the link below and check out the page. And thanks again for checking out this video and supporting the channel. We really appreciate you watching and taking the time to be here with us. Cheers.